Also tonight, they are more than just cell phones. For many of us, mobile technology has become a lifeline we can't live without. But that convenience is also convenient for hackers. Local 10's Sasha Andrade is live in Pembroke Park with more on what's being done to protect you. Well, Lori, these kind of cell phones were not very lucrative to hackers a few years ago, but all of that is changing the more dependent we become upon them. The more we use them as computers and storage devices. Remember, these cell phones do not have the same layers of protection that our computers do. You know that cell phone you just can't live without? Well, I'm constantly receiving emails, phone calls, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The one that's so much more than a phone. It's a GPS, a camera, a computer. I'm always on it, always on the internet, always aiming, texting. Well, before it turns into your best friend, remember this bit of technology can easily hand off your personal information to hackers. You can look at like Paris Hilton. They, it happened to her before, so it can happen to anybody. Michael Gregg with the Hackers Haltic Convention in Miami says cell phones now are like computers were in the early 90s, pre-firewall, pre-spyware, one wrong click on an incoming text or email that has a virus, and all the information stored on your phone is instantly vulnerable. These are highly motivated people because this is the way they're making their living, this is the way they're generating their income. So we're talking about computer engineers with computer engineering degrees. That means contact numbers are exposed. So are credit card numbers, usernames, passwords. Great. What's worse? Experts predict cell phone hacking will soon blow up. Call it a warning. Don't open like strange emails or text strange numbers. You never know. And you can protect yourself by storing as little information as possible on these cell phones. Again, also, you do not want to open any unknown emails or text messages from numbers you don't recognize. Just leave them alone. Back to you, Lori. Sasha, what did you learn about the future outlook on all this? How bad could it really get when it comes to cell phone hacking? Lori, it's actually kind of scary. The people at the hackers conference, they told me that if these hackers can get into mass amounts of cell phones, let's say in a certain area, they can cut off communication, they can cut off 911 phone calls. So it is a matter of national security if it gets to that level. Hopefully it doesn't. Back to you. Okay, Sasha, thanks so much.